Tonight, shock and horror over the brutal killing of an American journalist executed by ISIS militants. The group released a disturbing video showing 40-year-old James Foley being beheaded. And tonight, it's being called retribution for the U.S. airstrikes in Iraq. Stephen Clark is live in the newsroom now following the latest developments on the story that has just horrified everyone. Stephen. And journalist James Foley was kidnapped two years ago in Syria. How he wound up in ISIS terrorist hands, no one knows. But a visibly angry President Obama today said the entire world is appalled by his execution. A somber President Obama said James Foley's life stands in stark contrast to his killers. Jim was taken from us in an act of violence that shocks the conscience of the entire world. ISIS said it murdered the 40-year-old American photojournalist to avenge the U.S. airstrikes in Iraq. The video released by the militant group showing Foley's murder is graphic and chilling. There's Foley in an orange jumpsuit, kneeling down, his ISIS executioner standing next to him. I wish I could have the hope of freedom and seeing my family once again, he said, but that ship has sailed. Outside their home in New Hampshire today, Foley's parents showed incredible grace and strength. We just pray that, that Jim's death can bring our country together in a stronger way and with the values that Jim hold dear. The voice in that ISIS video has sparked major concerns in the U.S. and the U.K. British Prime Minister David Cameron, who cut short his vacation today, said it looks increasingly likely that the ISIS executioner is a British citizen. What we must do is redouble all our efforts to arrest and prosecute those that take part in this extremism and violence. President Obama says a group like ISIS has no place in the 21st century. From governments and peoples across the Middle East, there has to be a common effort to extract this cancer so that it does not spread. There is a second American hostage, Stephen Sotloff, who went missing in August. ISIS threatens he'll be executed next. Although not mentioning him specifically today, President Obama says the U.S. will continue to do what they must to protect our people. In the newsroom, Stephen Clark, 7 Action News. Okay, Stephen, thank you.